Imagine waking up in a hospital, and instead of a human nurse, you're greeted by a gleaming robot with a digital smile. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, buckle up, because this is already happening in healthcare facilities around the world. And trust me, it's just the beginning of a revolution that's about to change everything we know about nursing and patient care. Hello, my brilliant Bunsen burners. Theodore here, ready to ignite your minds with some seriously wild science. Today we're diving into the world of robotic nurses. Yeah, you heard that right. Robots taking care of your grandma. We've got some mind-blowing insights on how these metal Florence Nightingales are revolutionizing healthcare. From reading emotions to never needing a coffee break, these robo-nurses are redefining what it means to provide 24-7 care. So, grab your stethoscopes and let's diagnose the future of nursing together. Welcome to the show, everybody. Today we're diving into a topic that's rapidly changing the world around us, and that's robots in healthcare. Yeah, it's pretty amazing stuff. And specifically, we're going to be focusing on the evolving role of robots in nursing. Yeah, you know, when we talk about robots in healthcare, we often think about surgery. Right. But nursing is such a vital part, and, you know, there's so much potential there. Absolutely. And we've got a ton of fascinating research articles, reports, even excerpts from some upcoming books on this very topic. Wow. And I'm really curious to unpack it all with you. Yeah, me too. So maybe a good starting point for our listeners who maybe haven't really kept up with this. How prevalent are robots in healthcare right now? Well, it's still early days, but the growth is definitely exponential. Okay. I mean, just look at the numbers. One report predicts that the global medical robotics market, get this, will reach nearly $25 billion by 2025. Wow. So that gives you an idea of you know, investments being made and the speed at which it's growing. So we're talking billions of dollars being poured into this. Hmm. Yeah. And a big chunk of that is going towards robots that can assist nurses. Okay, so it seems like there's this big push to integrate robots into the nursing field specifically. Why is that? Well, one major factor is the global nursing shortage. Okay, right. I've heard about that. Yeah, the World Health Organization predicts a global shortage of 12.9 million nurses and midwives by 2035. Wow. 12.9 million. That's huge. And it puts a strain on healthcare systems all over the world. Okay, let's break this down for a second. We're talking about robots that can not only take your temperature, but potentially understand how you're feeling. It's like having a super smart, never tired nurse who's part Terminator, part therapist. Imagine telling your symptoms to R2-D2's more empathetic cousin. Wild, right? But here's the kicker. These robots could be the solution to the massive nursing shortage we're facing. It's either that or start cloning nurses. And trust me, that's a whole other ethical can of worms. Right. So there's this pressing need to find solutions, and robots are emerging as a, you know, a potential answer. Okay, so less robots are taking our jobs and more robots are here to help. Exactly. It's about creating a partnership where robots handle some of the more routine tasks. Okay. This frees up nurses to focus on what they do best, providing that really human, compassionate care. So robots are like the new nursing assistants. Kind of, but they can do so much more than a traditional assistant. Okay, like what? Give me an example. Well, imagine a robot that can deliver medications, monitor vital signs, even help patients with mobility. Wow, robots doing all that. It sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie. I know, right? But it's becoming a reality. So we're not just talking about robots and surgical suites anymore. Nope, they're moving into all areas of healthcare, including those very hands-on roles in nursing. That's fascinating. And you know what I find interesting is that when people think of robots, they often picture these, you know, human-like machines. Right, like C-3PO or something. Exactly. Yeah. But the reality is a lot more nuanced, right? Oh, absolutely. Mm. There's a whole spectrum of medical robots being developed. And that's what we're going to be unpacking today. Definitely. So for our listeners, get ready because this is going to be a wild ride. Yeah, get ready to have your minds blown. So we're back to dive even deeper into the world of robots in nursing. And you know what's really cool? What's that? Is the sheer variety of robots out there. Like we were saying earlier, there's this whole spectrum. Okay. And one way to think about it 
is to categorize them based on their function. Okay, that makes sense. How would you break it down? Well, first you've got your surgical robots, which have actually been around for a while. Right, those are ones assisting with surgeries. Exactly. They offer this incredible precision and minimally invasive techniques. It's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. It really is. Then you have your rehabilitation robots. Okay. And these are all about helping patients regain mobility and function after an injury or stroke. So things like exoskeletons. Exactly. Those are a prime example, helping people walk again. Incredible. Right. It's like something out of science fiction, but it's real. And then there are the robots that are more focused on patient care and assistance. Okay, so like what kind of robots are we talking about here? Well, one category that I found really interesting in the research is what they call nursing robots. Nursing robots, I like the sound of that. Tell me more. So these aren't robots that are replacing nurses by any means. Okay. But they're designed to assist nurses with a lot of the tasks that can be physically demanding or time consuming. Right, so it frees up nurses to focus on patients more. Exactly. Things like taking vital signs, delivering medication, even moving patients from bed to chair. Those are tasks that can take a toll on nurses physically. Absolutely. And when you have robots handling those tasks, <laughs> nurses have more time and energy to provide that human touch that's so essential to patient care. Hold up, folks. We're not just talking about fancy Roombas delivering pills here. These robotic nurses are like Swiss army knives of healthcare. They can lift patients, monitor vital signs, and even provide companionship. It's like having a personal healthcare assistant that never sleeps, never gets cranky, and never posts your embarrassing hospital gown pics on social media. But don't worry, they're not here to replace human nurses completely. Think of them more like high-tech sidekicks in the epic battle against illness and boredom in hospitals. It's about working smarter, not harder. Right. Exactly. And it's not just about physical tasks either. Okay. There are also robots that can provide social and emotional support. Really? So like robot companions? In a way, there's this one robot I read about called Pepper. Pepper. Interesting name. Right. And it's designed to interact with patients, especially in elderly care facilities. Okay. You can have conversations, play games, even lead them through exercises. So it's like a friendly face and a source of engagement and stimulation. Exactly. And it can help combat loneliness and boredom, which can be real problems, mm -hmm. especially for seniors. It's like having a 247 companion. And the potential is there for them to even monitor patients and alert nurses if something seems off. So they're almost like an extra set of eyes and ears. Precisely. It's really fascinating stuff. And then there's another aspect we haven't even touched on yet, which is the use of AI and robotics in medication management. Oh, right. I read a bit about that in one of these articles. It's incredible. Imagine a robot that can not only dispense medication, but also track inventory and even identify potential drug interactions. Wow, that would be huge for patient safety. Right. It could significantly reduce the risk of medication errors. And then there's the whole telepresence thing. Oh, yeah, where doctors can remotely control robots to interact with patients. Exactly. I mean, think about it. That could be huge for rural communities or places where there's a shortage of specialists. So a doctor in New York could potentially treat a patient in rural Alaska. Precisely. It really could revolutionize access to health care. And we're just scratching the surface here, right? Absolutely. The field is advancing so rapidly that what seems like science fiction today could be commonplace in hospitals within a few years. It's mind-blowing. And, you know, with all these incredible advancements, there are also some important ethical and societal implications to consider. Right. Like any new technology, there are always those questions we need to ask. Exactly. And that's what we're going to delve into next. Yeah, because it's not just about the robots themselves. It's about how we integrate them into healthcare in a way that benefits everyone. So we've talked about all the amazing things robots can do in healthcare, but what about the concerns? Yeah, the big one that always comes up is jobs, right? Exactly. Are robots gonna put nurses out of work? It's a valid concern, but I think it's more nuanced than that. Okay, how so? Well, think about it this way. Yeah. What if instead of replacing nurses, robots actually free them up? Free them up to do what? To focus on the things that humans excel at, things robots can't replicate. Like what? Give me an example. Compassion, empathy, critical thinking. Those are all crucial in nursing, and they're uniquely human traits. Okay, that makes sense. Robots can handle the tasks, but they can't replace the human connection. Precisely. So nurses can spend less time on routine tasks and more time with patients, providing emotional support 
building relationships. So it's not about robots versus nurses. It's about robots and nurses working together. Exactly. A partnership where each brings their strengths to the table. And that brings us back to that idea you mentioned earlier, the triadic partnership. Right. Patients, nurses, and technology all working together. But how do we make sure that partnership is balanced and ethical? That's the key question. And it starts with open communication. Okay. Patients need to understand how robots are being used in their care. And they need to have a say in it. So no robots sneaking up on them in the middle of the night. Exactly. And nurses need to be involved in the design and implementation of these technologies. So they're not just handed a robot and told, figure it out. Exactly. It's about collaboration and making sure everyone's voice is heard. And that includes addressing concerns about things like privacy and data security. Absolutely. Yeah. Especially with robots collecting and transmitting patient information. Right. We need to make sure that data is protected. And then there's the whole issue of bias in AI. Oh, right, because robots are only as good as the data they're trained on. Exactly. If the data reflects existing biases, those biases can be amplified in the algorithms. So we need to be very mindful of that. And that's where ongoing research and ethical guidelines are crucial. It's a lot to consider. It is, but these conversations are so important to have. Because the future of healthcare is going to look a lot different than it does today. Absolutely. And robots are going to be a big part of that. Well, I have to say, this has been a fascinating deep dive. Me too. It's incredible to see how far robotics has come. And I think we've just scratched the surface. Oh, definitely. There's so much more to explore. But for now, I think we'll leave it there. To all our listeners, thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of robots in nursing. It's a rapidly evolving field with incredible potential to transform healthcare as we know it. Until next time, keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep imagining the possibilities. Well, my scientifically savvy specimens, We've certainly had our minds expanded today, haven't we? From emotion reading robots to mechanical caregivers, the future of healthcare is looking more Blade Runner than Grey's Anatomy. But remember, while these robo nurses might be able to dispense your meds with pinpoint accuracy, they still can't replicate a good old fashioned human hug. At least, not yet. So keep your eyes peeled, your minds open, and maybe start practicing your binary code. You never know when you might need to sweet talk your future robot nurse. Until next time, stay curious, stay questioning, and for the love of science, try not to get your circuits in a bunch. Yeah.